This was the second of the three pyramids to rise on the Giza Plateau. Khufu's son Khafre, fourth king of Dynasty IV, built a smaller monument than his father's Great Pyramid, but he located it on a terrace that was 10 meters, or 33 feet, higher. It measures 215 meters, or 705 feet, on each side and stands 143.5 meters tall. That's just over 470 feet. To even off the limestone terrace, he cut 10 meters from the original surface on the northwest side, but then had to build up the southeast area with limestone blocks. Khafre cased the lowest course in granite, while the rest of the pyramid used limestone. Although much of the fine white limestone casing blocks from Tura, across the Nile, and today just south of modern Cairo, were quarried away in later times, about one quarter of the white casing stones remain intact towards the top. This is the defining feature and easiest way to recognize Khafre's pyramid. On the south side, Khafre placed his little satellite or cult pyramid, thought to hold a symbolic burial for his statue, representing his ka, or life force. Today, this pyramid is completely destroyed. Five boat pits flank the pyramid, or mortuary temple, on the east side, but none of them revealed any contents, unlike the two boat pits on the south of Khufu's pyramid. Coming around to the north side, we find two entrances, one at ground level, used today as the modern tourist entrance, and the other located about 12 meters or 40 feet higher. The entrance corridor leads to a lower chamber on the west with a vaulted roof, possibly intended for storage. The burial chamber itself, also vaulted, is located in the center of the pyramid, just above ground level. It's oriented east-west. Italian explorer Giovanni Belzoni entered it in 1818 and left his name in a large graffito on the wall but Arabic graffiti indicated that he was not the first in modern times to reach this room. Khafre's black granite sarcophagus is half embedded in the floor with the lid broken in two. Here was also the earliest royal example of a pit cut in the floor for the canopic chest meant to hold the king's internal organs. The bones of a sacrificial bull were found in the sarcophagus, but were most likely a much later addition.